back to cheap ass crafting. Also, I would like you to welcome our the newest member of our team, Sir Reginald Ducksworth. He is our legal counselor advisor as well as a great advisor for the rest of us. So he is the most important member of our team. I'd like you to make him feel really welcome. Now that that's outside, I am going to be teaching you how to make very basic garb. And before we begin, I cannot help you when it comes to the pants. If you follow my directions when it comes to the pants, or if I gave you directions when it comes to the pants, and then you followed said directions, your pants would split open in the middle of a fight and you would moon the entire battlefield. So unless you're just really wanting to be a streaker, I'm not putting that. But I can do a cover. Cover. Yeah, I'm just going to call it a cover. I can do a shirt. So, actually one thing that I don't have that if you really are to looking at cheap for a top, a pillowcase. Just get the square pillowcase, chop a hole for your neck, chop sides for your arms, and then when you put it on, you'll have like these squares sticking on out, so you just chop that, sew it to what you want, and boom, you've got yourself a top. However, I suspect that people may not be wanting to run around in a pillowcase, although it doesn't look too bad, if I'm going to be honest. So, we are going to do two layers, which means, yes, I'm getting the sewing machine out today, and we'll see if it goes a little better than last time. First, you want a softish type cloth for the inside, and then you want a sturdy cloth for the outside. Right? Soft is inside, hard is outside. If you need that explained to it, please go to another channel. Also, we do have five subscribers instead of the four from the previous video. I thought it was five, but if it was four, then I got another subscriber. So sweet! There's five of us now. Why the hell are you guys here? Anyways, moving on. So, what you're going to want before I pick up my scissors and chop into stuff, which would be a bad idea right now, is you want ye olde tape measure. I have, a, like, one of those cloth tape measures around here somewhere. I don't know where it is. It went somewhere. So I'm just going to do my best for the uh, middle one. In my room. Yeah, I, I know. But I'm way too lazy to go look for it. The people on this channel know exactly what they're getting. All right, so tape measure. What you want to do is, this should be obvious, Nick, down. You want something to write with. I didn't grab something to write with. Here's the Sharpie. All right, now I got something to write with. So, from about here down. Now, I'd actually recommend you go down to about here, because you're going to want the tail. Believe me. So we're looking at 27 and a half inches. All right, then... She was offering me, me paper to write down, but you guys know why you're here. You've got nothing else to do. Then, you want to measure your neck. And we're not just talking about here. We are measuring how far your head's going to stick through the damn thing. Because if you keep it just on the neck and not actually the top of the head, which is actually a mistake I've made several times, you're going to feel like a baby in a C-section. It's not going to be pleasant. So, about big-headedness, we got a 10-inch big head. Down, 27, 10 inch head. Now we're going to measure across. Shoulder width across, or about there. 26 inches. I am shaped like a square, apparently. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is then we're going to take our handy dandy piece of cloth. We are going to double it up because honestly, just trying to sew two pieces of cloth together and trying to get it correct is a pain in the ass. It's going to be a pain in the ass enough doing the top cover on it. We're just going to try to make it simple on us. So, you're going to lay your cloth on out, make it on a floor, I would recommend. That's why I'm doing it on a floor. And we're going to grab the Sharpie that we forgot and the tape measure that we checked somewhere. Did you see where I checked the tape measure? I'm gonna go grab the uh, other one. Nah. Ha! Done it! Persistence, people! That's the key to this. So, you're gonna get down on your knees and not get paid for it. 
So first measurement is across is 27 inches. Is that right? No, no, that's not right. That's down 27 inches. Like, so we're going to realize that we did a horrible job on our measurements. We're going to make 20, 20 and a half. That's a little, that's a little better. I should have thought that it was weird that I was two and a half feet across. But hey, that's why we double check our measurements, kiddos. And don't worry about marking on the interior layer. No one's going to see it. So, mark there. Over here, mark here. Then down, we did 27 inches. And you're not going to worry about the head right now. going to do a dashed line considering I don't feel like drawing the full one. Remember guys, I told you that this was cheap and easy. So pick up your fabric from a thrift shop. It's much easier that way. Honestly, bed sheets work the best. And then the, I'm not even sure what that is. The guy, even the owner was like, I don't, I don't know what the heavy fabric is. As near as we can figure, it's like a tablecloth or something. All I know is it's sturdy, and it'll hold up well against the weather. As long as I don't, you know, make it too much wet. Alright. Bam, bam, turkey and bed sheets. Ugh. Trusty scissors. Crawling around on the floor, because you have nothing better to do with your afternoon. measurement again. I want to make sure 22, 27. Yeah, it'll come on down about here. And the reason why you don't want to just cut it off waist level is if you look at different medieval shirts and everything, it always comes past the waist. And that way, you can put a nice like leather belt or something on, and it's not going to look weird. Okay, it's still going to look weird-ish, but it won't look as weird. Heaven forbid someone wants to tell, say that I meant my words specifically as I said them. Oh my, he said if I put a leather belt on over in this oversized bed sheet, it wouldn't look weird. All right. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, which I know I'm not, so we again we are not doing the head yet because we don't want to sew up here because it's going to be a pain in the ass to just cut on through later if we do i don't want to worry about the threads coming undone so i'm going to wait until i've got that and that together and honestly you can do this two ways you can either do two different layers and i forgot to measure my armpits okay I forgot about that. I'm gonna rectify that. Ooh, about seven inches. Oops. Because you obviously want your arms to be able to stick out of this. So I'm gonna go about a half inch down from the shoulders. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. Correction, I'm not gonna go down from the shoulders. Measure about seven inches. And you don't wanna measure right where your armpit ends. Otherwise, you're gonna be doing one of these. Did I measure right where? Nope, okay. And sleeves, eh, should I do sleeves today? I'm sure if I, sh if I did, should have done sleeves, I should have done them before I chopped it on out. All right, so here's a basic way to do sleeves if you want to do that. Strangely enough, I don't think I've ever done garb with sleeves on it, just because they're kind of a pain in the ass. But what you do is you measure from, 
right here, I the your the knobby bone, highly technical terms. Right on down to about here. And you were, so then you remember the measurement. So that'd be 22 and a half inches. So then I would measure before I cut this, or after I cut and just sew it on, because by the hell not. I'm not gonna do that. Too much work. But I would measure so 22 and a half inches or whatever I just said on down, and I'm gonna do that at an angle. Because if you do it straight, it's, it's going to be flop, flop around. Just do it at an angle, trust me. Have I ever steered you wrong? Recently. <laughs> so then that mark where I put down here, 7 inches, where it's going to go past the armpit, you're just going to do another diagonal line on down. You're going to cut it off straight, you're going to sew those together, you're going to flip it inside out. Really doesn't take much effort. If I thought of it, I would have done it before I did this, but I already did this, so we're not going to worry about it. So back to, you could do it two ways, which I, sh I need to stop going on tangents, is you can either make this just a single layer and then do the second layer on top, or you can go ahead and do the second layer on, and I'm just going to do the second layer on. Why? Don't ask me questions I can't answer. So we're going to set this aside on the handy dandy box. This is where you have to be careful about marking. Because it doesn't look like there's a difference to either side, but if your cloth is going to have two different sides to it, you know, the nice shiny one and then the side that nobody sees and gives a shit about, you want to make sure that you do your markings on the side that nobody sees and gives a shit about. Because they are going to see the exterior of this one. Okay, that's it. Those scissors are flying. And where did I put those? Okay, here's a pro tip. You want, if you take your tape measure, you want to put it kind of next to where you are and keep your eye on it and not just chuck it somewhere random. But well, this is a great thing. This is actually perfect because now I can show you what you do if you lose your tape measure. We're just going to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut a little extra off. I'm just going to ring it. And don't worry about the cut not looking pretty. Once you get it free from the rest of the fabric, then you can do whatever the hell you want with it. And also, if you want to conserve the cloth you use, don't be a dumbass like I just did and cut in the very middle. Cut from the side. I feel like that should be obvious, but yet I cut from the side. I mean, middle. Do as I say, not as I do. Alright. There we go. All right, the pants, uh, suggestion for that is if you can't find someone who can make them, go ahead and get the pants for martial arts, the lower halves. You should be able to find some pretty cheap, and you can dye in whatever color you want. Normally, I wouldn't say go buy something to, in order of making it, because this is the craft, cheap crafting, not cheap buying. But again, I cannot teach you about crafting pants. Go find someone else. Or just do it as I do and get that. Hey, good news is I found the tape measure. We're gonna get go on over here to the handy dandy sewing machine. I'm going to attempt to remember how to use it. I'm going to grab the tape measure since I just realized I still need to cut the hole for my head. And as always, you can do this several ways. Now you can either go ahead and basically, I'll just show it since I'm horrible at explaining things. You could theoretically 
just lay these out and then to do all your sewing just put them together like that what I mean by that is basically you go like that make it look all pretty and then so just go ahead and sew through all the layers and make your make the top of the garment that way but I'm not going to do that I'm going to make it extra needlessly complicated Allow me to shed some light on the subject. There we go. Mostly because I need to figure out if I need to put more thread in this. That actually should do it. If I run out of thread midway, I'm going to remind myself that I'm like, oh, I don't need any. That might be enough. We'll find out. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm not just trying to try to sew through all the layers. I'm going to sew the inner layer to the outer one and do it ringing around it. And then I won't have to worry about whether or not the outer the inner layer is sewn. 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 I mean sewn. Yeah. Sewn <laughs> when I do the rest of my stuff. So I'm actually going to sew it all around. And in order to do that, do you need pens? No, I am not going to bother with the extra. And I know you're like, wait a second, you said like cut extra out. Yes, yes, I did. Because you wanted to overlap a little if you're going to do an X the layer separate, which is honestly, it's a lot easier. I advise you do it separate. I'm just being stuck. But what I'm going to do. is I'm gonna make sure that it's overlapping on each side. So let me pull this up a little. I'm going to sew it all the way around and then I'm gonna trim it. It's gonna look a little nicer, look a little neater. It's gonna use a lot of freaking thread. See, I didn't cuss on this good this good fucking channel. Uh, my old rival, making sure it's threaded. Do you need help with that? No. I've pretty well figured it out by now. Okay. Three seconds later. I need help. <laughs> if you ever do, just let me know. I had to look up this, like, ten-year-old YouTube video how to thread this thing. It's okay. I learned my lesson. I have an older machine in the other room, so you're fine. There we go, I think. Shit. Nope. Techno we're having technical difficulties. We'll be back to regular scheduled broadcast in a moment. Do you, do you? No, I got it. That's how we do it. Welcome back to your regular scheduled broadcast. And I'm not going to trim it all the way when I finish this up, but I am going to trim it nice. So we've got that sticking out the back, we got that sticking out the back. We got the machine coming to life. Bad arm machine overlords, please. And drop that down, and now for the boring part. Ouch. As I stab myself with my machine. Ah, shit. It would also help if I remember which way the cloth fed. We're starting from this corner, no biggie. Put that in there. 
I'd also like to remind my viewers, you did not come to the pretty or the professional crafting. You came to the cheap. Maybe I shouldn't go that fast. All right, take it slow. Take it to dinner first. So also, uh, when I finish this video and I get it uploaded, right before I do that is going to be a mead video that's uploaded. How to craft your own mead. That one I'm going to make age restricted for the sole purpose of I don't want to be responsible for a kid making learning how to make mead and then saying, oh, I found it on this YouTuber's channel. And I know that a age verification doesn't stop a determined 12 year old, but I want my ass being covered. So. Making sure that's still been good. Well, let's face it, I will not figure out till like it's dead if I miss an area. And when I say trim it, I just realized I didn't specify. When I say trim it, I don't mean I'm going to trim it back to the inside. I mean I'm going to make these edges look nice, and so I can just deal with the outer edges instead of worrying about the inner. Because I can't exactly trim the inner ones back since I measured them so close. And we are about out of thread. We just ran out of the Dremel. Alright, we will take a short intermission as I change out the thread and we will be back here in a minute. 